Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa and I am The Crafty Author. And today we are going to do a really fun and quick um, little tutorial. And I know you're just going to love it. So we're just gonna hop right on in and get started. So I figured since it was a new year, it would be fun to start a new pin cushion. This is what I did last year with some little galvanized buckets that I had purchased. And um, there is a video tutorial on how to do one of these. They're a lot of fun. And they're actually quite handy for when you're moving around from like your ironing table to say your sewing machine because you can just pin and then you can pop them out and put them in here and it's real handy so i love this i love this one and i will still be using this but i went to hobby lobby yesterday and i saw something super cute and so i picked it up actually to be honest i picked up two of them so you might have seen the pictures that i've posted on instagram and youtube and facebook <laughs> and Twitter. Um, but these are what I, I found are these little miniature, little tiny watering cans. And I found these at Hobby Lobby. Um, they are normally $3.99. They are currently 40% off. So $2.49 or something like that, I think is what I paid. I've already put one together. Isn't that adorable? It's really cute, isn't it? So this is my new pin cushion. I'm going to make two so that I can have one at each one of my sewing machines. And um, I didn't get too crazy with it. I just put it together real quick. And now I am going to show you how to do this. Now you can use, this is really good project for scrap. So if you have a lot of scrap, I might recommend just going through your stash and pulling it out. You don't need to go and purchase a bunch of stuff. Um, you can use polyfill in in your um, pin cushion. I chose this time to use poly pellets. And I did that because I just wanted to see how that's going to work and see how that holds up. So I'm just trying something new. You're more than welcome to try that or you can just stick with the... Um, polyfill. You can also use rice and I cannot use rice because I'm allergic to it. So I stay away from that. Um, so I'm just going to move the camera down and I'm just going to get started to show you how do we do this. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is you can see that there's nothing inside of there. I'm going to take a little bit of polyfill and I'm going to just stick it in here and I'm going to glue that inside of there with my glue gun. So you will need a glue gun. I'm just filling it up with some glue, just so this will hold in there and be nice and secure. I'm just gonna push that in there, hold it down for a couple of seconds. You can see that I'm doing that with my fingers there. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and set this aside for a moment. Next, I'm going to take some fabric that I have and I'm just going to use um, a fat quarter that I had and I'm not gonna be real precise about my cutting or any of that and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a cut. And like I said, you really, really, um, doesn't matter how you do it. So I'm just gonna lay my fabric out. I didn't iron it. I'm not doing anything like that. And then I'm all, I've also got this piece of ribbon. You can use twine or you can use yarn. I'm gonna take my poly pellets and I'm very carefully going to start pouring them on my fabric. Just in a little pile. If you're using pellets, you're going to want to be kind of careful because these kind of go everywhere, as you can imagine. 
and you can see that they're going everywhere. But not too bad. So we're good to go that way. All right, so I'm just gonna pull these up. This requires absolutely no sewing skills, none. So you're just gonna gather it up. Okay, I'm gonna bring it all together like so. And you're just gonna, and you wanna make sure that all of your pellets are inside of your, your fabric. Cause you don't want it leaking out. And then I like to do a twist on my fabric. See, like one of them got loose there. And another. And then I'm gonna take uh, my ribbon and I am just going to wrap that around. Very tightly. And I should have probably cut this ribbon because it is way too long, but it'll be just fine. Not worried about it. Actually, you need to probably do that a little bit tighter. So if you find that it's too loose, you're gonna wanna just modify and make it tighter. Okay, so do not get discouraged. Everything is fixable. Sometimes it takes a little bit to maneuver things, you know? They don't always wanna work with us, 100%. So, there we go, I think. That might be better. Just using my teeth. <laughs> I don't recommend doing that, but it works. So, okay, so got that nice and tight. Now I'm just gonna tie this in a knot. So now our pellets are nice and secure. Now it is a lot easier, just a tip, a lot easier if you're just using the polyfill because you don't have these little tiny pellets that are flying everywhere. But like I said, new year, we're gonna try something new. Set that aside, we're done with our pellets or our uh, polyfill. We're done with all that now. And now we're ready to put this into our little miniature watering can. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm going to cut some of this off, some of this excess fabric because we don't really need it anymore. And now I'm gonna just stick it on top of my little watering can and situate it on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it. I'm going to put glue around this rim and I'm gonna put glue on the inside as well. So I will start by putting the glue inside. And I did put a fair amount in there, as you can see. And then I'm going to pop my little guy in there right now. I'm just gonna hold this down so that the glue and the fabric can set with each other. Won't take very long, but we are going to do that. 
All right, and now what I'm going to do is I'm start gonna start shaping this a little bit more. And I will be gluing around that rim like I was telling you about. So as you can see, that's what I'm doing right here, like so. Gonna do that. And this is really actually quite forgiving. So if you get glue on the side here, you can always just go and scrape it off. It's not gonna harm anything or be a big deal. This goes really quick actually. So I'm gonna continue to do that right here as well. And this is a good time to use up any ribbon or if you have um, flowers or anything like that, you can put that on your little can or buttons or something cute. So make it your own, make it real cute and make it your own. These are so easy to make and they're very inexpensive. It's just kind of a fun little project, especially if you're just not in the mood to do some sewing or anything like that, but you want to do something. This is one of those projects that's just kind of fun. Just need to glue down my front here. All right, so I found some of this really cute Snoopy and Linus uh, ribbon that I've had, and I love Snoopy and Linus. And so I am just going to put that on here. I'm actually going to glue it on here. So if you have a favorite ribbon or something like that, then feel free to do it. It's real cute. It just adds to the whole to the whole project. that piece down. Thank you. 
And then I do have some um, little flowers. And since this is kind of a raw edge right here, I don't really want to leave this like that. So I'm just going to pull out one of the little flowers that I do have. And I do believe I still have a little jewel. I got these flowers at uh, Hobby Lobby years ago. They've been in my stash for forever. You've probably seen me work with these before. So if they look familiar, that would be why. That one's cute. Um, I don't know where my little my little stone went. I could do something like that. Although I don't know that I'm crazy about that look. So like I said, you just got to kind of play with this to find out what's going to work and what isn't. And actually, I think I already know what's going to work. And lucky for me, I have just a regular black flower with a jewel in it and that is what's going to go right there and that's perfect so put my dot of glue right there and now you can't even tell that that's where I ended all right, so I'm gonna go put some pins in this and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, I have finished the pin cushion. Here's the reveal, isn't that cute? Fits all my pins in there perfectly. If you're wondering if they stay, they do if you tip them over. They're not falling out, so the pellets are fine to use. Um, You can see I have my little Snoopy and Linus ribbon on here. I think it's so cute because I'm such a huge fan of Snoopy. And then here's my other one with the red flower and the red polka dot ribbon that I put around it. This one has a little bit less uh, pins on it. I made the little, um, the pellets, I made that cushion a little bit smaller. This one is a little bit bigger. I like to do that um, because a lot of times I find that I use one more than I do the other, to be honest. So like this one, I'll probably use a lot more for when I'm actually quilting and sewing and piecing and pinning. Whereas this one, I will put, I don't know, maybe at my cutting table or something where I don't use them as often. So, you know, they both, um, they work great. They're both super cute. Night, sweet. I love them. So that's it. So if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share because sharing is caring. If you would like to follow me, the links are down below in the description box. And uh, don't forget to click that little bell. You'll get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. And keep on crafting. That's it. See you next time. Bye-bye.